everyone, and welcome to the Zoo Crew Recovery Life Podcast. My name is John A., and I am an alcoholic in West Palm Beach, Florida. My sobriety date is September 13th of 1982. We'll start off with a quote by Albert Einstein. If you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. If you can't explain it simply, you do not understand it well enough. We call ourselves the Zoo Crew because although we are deadly serious about sobriety, we want to show others, mainly newcomers, that sobriety is not boring at all. Visit our website at thezookrew.org, thezookrew.org. Feel free to like this video and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button so you can be notified when we upload new videos. Leave a comment and we will respond. If you like our message, please share our podcast with others in recovery. In this episode of the Zoo Crew Recovery, Recovery Life Podcast, the topic is celebrating the holiday sober and surviving the AA Bermuda Triangle. The holidays are my favorite time of the year. I love the sights, the sounds, and the smells surrounding the holidays. I usually start wearing my Santa hat on Thanksgiving night until the day after, uh, until the day after Christmas. As a kid growing up, we didn't have much. Uh, and when I was in elementary school, I used to lie to the other kids about the toys I got for Christmas. But as an adult and as a parent, I am Santa Claus. And I love for people around me to enjoy the holidays as well. Unfortunately, the holidays are a very depressing time for many people in and out of AA. Here are some tips that I think many will find useful in dealing with the Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year holidays. In AA, we call this time of year the Bermuda Triangle. That's because so many alcoholics start off the holiday season with good intentions, but all too often drown in a sea of depression anxiety, family, and office parties. Personally, I was never anonymous with my coworkers. They knew that I didn't drink, so at our parties, they would tell me what foods or drinks to stay away from because they contained alcohol. So do yourself a favor and tell people that you don't drink. Don't say it with a chuckle or with a big grin. Be deadly serious about this. And if you are serious in how you say it, most people will will respect it and not try to force a drink on you. And many people drink more than, than usual this time of year just because it's the holiday season. Some drink to, to celebrate and others to drown their sorrows. Either way, the ramifications for getting drunk at work, at a family party, or any holiday gathering can be severe. Fortunately, we can offer a few suggestions to help you navigate this uh, rough time of year. First, if there's a holiday party, ask yourself whether you really need to, whether you really have to go. If you're not comfortable at family or work gatherings where alcohol flows freely, consider whether your presence is truly necessary. Chances are, if people are drinking that much, they won't even notice that you aren't there. So the first thing to do is just simply determine whether you can skip the event entirely. If you can't afford to miss a particular gathering, have an exit strategy. Drive yourself to the event. If you're not driving, be sure you have your Uber or Lyft app good to go, or you have some other means of getting yourself home when the drinking speeds up, the room gets louder and hotter, and you have had enough of the whole scene. In other words, don't rely on someone else at the party to leave when you want to go. Be able to get out when you have reached your emotional limit. Next, once you get to the party, go directly to the bar and get yourself a club soda or some other non-alcoholic beverage. If you're holding a drink, people will be far less likely to ask, why aren't you drinking? And the answer to that question in any event is none of their business. And please keep an eye on your drink. 
if you happen to put the drink down on the table, even for a split second, consider it as no longer being a drink. Go back to the bar and get yourself a brand new drink, a brand new club soda or soft drink. And me, I got sober a month before my 22nd birthday. So I used to go to clubs and bars as young men do uh, in their 20s. Uh, as many young people do in their 20s. And as long as I had a glass with a napkin around it, nobody needed to know what I was drinking. Usually, it was just a glass of water. Here are some other pointers for how to survive the Bermuda Triangle in AA. Uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and the New Year's holidays. Manage your expectations of yourself and others. Try not to get, try not to set huge expectations or anticipate outcomes this season. It takes practice, but it will make life during the holidays, and for that matter, any day of the year, a lot smoother and more satisfying. Also, manage your expectations of the holiday season in general. It's a fun and festive time, but the holidays do not make you feel much less, um, but the holidays do not make you feel feelings less, or make your family miraculously get along like the Brady Bunch. Get yourself a reality check. You might even want to log off social media until after the holidays if you start feeling down. Do some volunteer work. Look for ways to be of service to others in and out of AA by serving meals at a homeless shelter playing with animals up for adoptions, spending time with sick or elderly community members who cannot be with their families during the holiday season. There are many ways to give back and pay it forward. Do not overcommit. Don't go running from one event to the other. Be present and in the moment at the event or events you attend. This way you'll enjoy the current event and the moments and you won't be thinking about the next event you have to go to. Even for events with sober friends, do not overcommit and also have an exit plan. And learn how to say no. You do not need to go to every holiday party you get invited to. Period. End of story. Also, if you don't like the activity or event uh, is one that... Or, also, if you, if you don't feel like the activity or event is one that will bring joy, but rather feels like an obligation, then just say no. No is a complete sentence without having to provide an explanation. Just politely decline and be free in your decision. Avoid known risks. If you know for certain, if you know certain family members or friends who are triggers for you will be attending the same celebrations you're invited to, it is best to avoid them altogether. Do not put yourself in, posi in a position to, to grin and bear it, to have to grin, grin and bear it. Maintaining your sobriety and recovery must come first, even during the holidays. And feel free to avoid these toxic people in your life uh, during the holidays and beyond. Create a drama-free zone and don't compare yourself to others. The holidays are a great time to feel less than and to compare others' outsides with our insides. This is a recipe for disaster. Stop worrying about others and start celebrating yourself. You can start your own new traditions if you choose. You have options and make self-care a priority. This includes meetings, if you go to AA meetings, maintaining your spiritual practice, calling your support network, exercising, eating healthily, getting enough sleep, drinking plenty of water, and having ample quiet time. And if you can, take time off from work. Take some time off over the holidays to relax and recharge. You deserve it and will be a better employee by taking the time to unplug. Have fun. Enjoy the season, the music, the cheesy Netflix holiday movies, decorating, baking, entertaining, 
all of it. It should be fun, not something to check off your list. And if you don't feel joyful participating in it, then don't do it. And talk about traditions. You can start new traditions. Maybe for you, the holidays used to mean one thing, too much partying. So you need to build new traditions and reference points. Come up with some new things that make you happy, things that you can do every year and allow yourself to feel your feelings. Holidays can bring up memories, old hurts, family issues, all sorts of tough stuff. Be kind to yourself and allow yourself to feel however you feel. A song, a smell, sometimes triggers surprise us and we are not prepared for the flood, flood of emotions that follow. Give thanks. Learn to adopt an attitude of gratitude, especially towards your sobriety and new sober life. Every day, or as often as you deem necessary, write down at least three things you're grateful for and refer back to them if you start to feel the holiday blues. If you plan on flying during the, during the holidays and get stressed at the airport, you can always go to the information desk and ask them to call friends or bills to your location, and you'll be surprised at how many people may show up. Even if only one person shows up, you can still have a meeting. And the same thing goes for cruise ships. Cruise ships will have a meeting for friends. Uh, um, just, uh, yeah, cruise ships will have a meeting for friends or bills. And many meetings online and in person will have an alcothon during the holidays, so you don't have to be alone. Get a sponsor, and more importantly, use them. Get a support group and use them. Many groups have a phone list that you can use to call people. Make use of it. And the best way to get out of the holiday blues is to get outside of yourself. Work with a newcomer. And if you're a newcomer yourself, Work with someone newer than you because it will help both of you. If you're single, this might be a good time to learn how to be friends with the opposite, opposite sex by just hanging out with them, uh, hanging out with someone of the opposite, opposite sex without sex being involved. If you're in the LGBTQ community, you can learn how to have platonic relationships with the same sex. Learn how to be friends without sex being involved. And this is also a good time to develop a deeper and better relationship with your higher power. When you have that bond with your higher power, you can be alone and never be lonely. We have two podcasts on prayer and meditation made simple that can help you relax during the holidays and beyond. We have two meetings a week on prayer and meditation made simple. Uh, please go to our website at thezookrew.org, thezookrew.org, and go to the meetings and events uh, page, and you will see all that information. And remember, meditation is nothing more than relaxing your mind. Take the time to stop and smell the pumpkin pie. In parting, we suggest that you get out of your comfort zone. Get out of your comfort zone until it becomes comfortable. So this ends our podcast, but before parting, I'd like you to get to know hope so that you can get to know recovery. Because if you have no hope, there might be no recovery. Be a hope dealer. So let's take a moment to reflect on what we did here, followed by the serenity prayer. God, Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Uh, thank you so much for listening to the Zoo Crew Recovery Life podcast on celebrating the holiday sober and surviving the AA Bermuda Triangle. Again, my name is John A., and I am an alcoholic in West Palm Beach, Florida. My sobriety date is September 13th of 1982. You can visit our website at thezookrew.org, thezookrew.org.
Feel free to like this video and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button so you know so you can be notified when we upload new videos. Leave a comment and we will respond. Thank you everyone. Have a great day. And remember, you never need to have a bad day, just bad moments.